it might have been just me, but I knew there was something wrong because I started getting a few blotches on my skin, and it felt like maybe it was itching, kind of twitching slightly. Like I could see a few things moving, uh, and, and you know that's when I got diagnosed with those three tapeworms, different tapeworms and two different amoebas, and so and that's pretty bad for you could die from that. Um, so I got I was actually in an area called Tefe, which is a two day boat ride um, to get there. They don't do boat rides anymore, but we would fly in from an airplane. It would take like two or three hours to fly us um, there, and then you go to the border, Brazil, Peru, and. Um, Columbia actually so I got to see that <laughs> in some of the flights I went but uh, since I was in the middle of nowhere um, <laughs> yeah they rushed me to the hospital in Manaus and so I was in there and don't want to get too many details because it's not the nicest thing to hear but uh, yeah they, they, they check you uh, you know they do different little tests on you to see what you have typically you'll start losing a lot of weight for no reason, you're always hungry. Sometimes the tapeworms will eat the food that you're eating right there and then. So there's people that just actually starve to death. They could be huge as can be because the tapeworms are just so big, but they're just, they're barely getting any nutrition because the tapeworms are eating everything. And it de depends on the type of tapeworm, but it's very common to see little kids have big guts. And that means they have some sort of amoeba or tapeworm. So if you see little boys, it's really sad to see. That's, that really broke my heart when I saw little kids. And they're happy. Everyone's happy. They're just kind of used to it. Some people aren't, you know, they're immune to some of the things for the most part. Um, but that was, yeah, you'll get a lot of that. Um, when you go to the bathroom, you'll know sometimes if you have, have a worm or not. It's kind of bad. But... Uh, there's nothing really you can do for it. Uh, typically in zone meetings, they'll give you this medicine that uh, gets rid of any tapeworms in your body. Um, and that usually does a trick, but they know who we are in the hospital. Just leave it at that. They know that you're a missionary and we kind of have an account with them from what I remember.